Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Oh boy, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. I know, I know this case is very polarizing, and Marty, I think, right now is like... Really? This is not I could have gone out dancing tonight, but no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wanted to be home. <laughs> yeah, so we're on Turnabout Succession. Mason, Mason system. system? Are we in, like, a computer? We're, we'll find out. This is where, in my opinion, the game gets really good, and this is where, in a lot some people's opinion, like, the game gets just terrible. Is this gonna be, like, Shady Smith's, like, prison? What is this going to be? Well, okay. Let's just find out. Okay. That trial seven years ago was the beginning of it all. Beginning of poker? This I know beyond a doubt. The mysteries of the past work their magic on the present. But you'll soon be finding all of this out for yourself. Which of Magnifi Grammarie's disciples pulled that trigger? Where did the vanishing defendant Zach Grammarie go? What dark truth lies behind the forged diary page? And what about the girl who was left behind? Yeah, that's the thing I'm wondering about. Mason System. Is this a computer game? I was right, it's like a computer file. The past left us these four keys to unlocking the truth. What? This is literally like Sword Art Online graphics, but whatever. Present day. But that's not all. There are four keys in the present as well. And when all the questions have found their answers, the final trial will begin. But first, you must chase the truth through then and now. Oh! Think of it as, as a, a game. game. <laughs> it is. Okay. Okay. I, Phoenix Wright, will be your guide through this game. That terrible trial saw me present forged evidence. It ended half-finished when the defendant vanished. Meanwhile, this is just in the middle of the present-day trial. It's like, Paul Justice, can you, like, put down your phone the and start- Most of the present clues do happen after the first trial that Apollo went through where Vera collapsed. One or two of them, though, happen earlier. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. So they it's kind of like it's a not time all at the travel same. type thing? Yes, and that's where people- That's oh, also where some of the plot holes come, because sometimes we'll have to go to the present, then go back to the past with the knowledge of the present- and do yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's like but, Mario Kart. But I can't ex time, you, It can also be like, well, you could have figured that in the past and then done that. You did, but like just for simplicity's sure. sake, we go. It ended half finished when the defendant vanished. What became of me after that? As your investigation proceeds, the answer will become clear. Oh, and one more thing. There is something I must tell you. As Apollo Justice has his bracelet, so too do I have my own weapon of sorts. My yes! Magatama. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what does it do, you ask? That I would have you see for yourself. We know! Well now, shall we begin? Yeah. Touch the arrow to switch between past and present. Cool. But let's begin seven years ago, in the past. Fine. It is right after my last trial came out to my, an abrupt end. Oh, come on. Now that you know the game, let's play what, is he gonna be in jail? So this is like the best investigation period in any this of the games, in my opinion. This sounds super cool. Yeah, because you got like the past and you go to the past and the present. Alright, okay. so we can go to the detention center, defendant lobby number two, the Wright and Company Law Offices, or Drew Studio. I want to go to Wright and Company Law Offices. I haven't gone there in a while. That when it looks cool, without... <laughs> Good choice! <laughs> without like, Trucy's junk everywhere. <laughs> Good choice, this is actually where you're supposed to go first. So, oh. nice. The nightmare trial is over. And the new nightmare of figuring out what had happened had just begun. I wanted to wake up. To walk away. But I figured I'm the only one who could do this, probably. And besides, I had plenty of time. Thanks to the Bar Association Review's board's decision. It's hard to work when your attorney's badge has been taken away. Oh, they got him a new job, I guess? No, he doesn't have a job, because they took away his badge. Seven years ago, right in company law offices... Oh, morning, Daddy. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you came. You okay, Daddy? They, they're picking on you? <laughs> I'm fine, as always. This old boy here is, to, is here to help me, after all. That's young man to you. Good morning. That's a cute outfit you have on. Thanks! My first show's today, after all. Two weeks have passed since then. 
I called her into my office. Good. Oh, she's looking like Pearl. Trucy, there's something we need to talk about. It's been two weeks since your father disappeared. <sighs> right. We need to start thinking about your future. I am um, did some calling around. This is hard to say, but you have no living relatives. What? So, I was wondering if you wanted to stay with me for a little while? Just until your daddy comes home. It won't be long. Oh, no. I hope. Uh, of course, uh, it's totally your choice. If you don't like it here, you can go wherever you'd like. I could look up some places you might like to stay at. This is so weird. Mr. Attorney, Daddy told me about you. He said I could trust you. Huh? Really? So, if I stay here, does that mean you'll be my family? Huh? Uh, um, I guess so? Getting weirder. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Attorney? Uh, actually, why don't you call me Nick? Or you can call me Daddy if you'd like. It doesn't have to be today or anything. Okay, say Daddy! That was quick! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, one other thing people don't like is they're like, Phoenix from the past, it's like, it's like Phoenix. He's just the yeah. same. And then, it, like, seven years later, he's like a bum who's, like, really weird and stuff. Like, <laughs> that, we'll kind of get into I that. I think Trucy rubbed off on him. Yeah. If I move here, I have to switch schools, right? And I was thinking, I haven't paid for lunches at my last school for a year. So thanks, Daddy! Oh. Oh, and this office, it's a little blocked. A little color goes a long way, you know? Uh... Oh, and Daddy, you got fired from work, right? Don't you worry one bit, I'll work twice as hard and we'll make it through this! Trissy, how old are you? Oh, I'm eight. But don't let my appearances deceive you. I'm a young professional. Stick with me and you'll do just fine, Daddy. Uh, thanks. Why does it feel like she's already in charge? Like Maya? All right, well, also, what? I want I want there to be a scene. I mean, maybe there will be of like, oh hey Maya, what's up? Uh, this is my daughter. daughter. <laughs> She's like, oh cool. <laughs> An old movie poster hangs on the wall. I finally found out the title after not knowing for the longest time. I actually rented the movie the other day. I cried my eyes out. Ah! Just thinking about it makes me tear up. Wait, it's just allergies, really. I should show it to her when she's a little older. Wait, what was it called again? <laughs> I think it's Titanic, probably. I think it's Toy Story 3. <laughs> no. My mentor's favorite plant, Charlie. I guess watering Charlie's my only real job now. Wait! I have a child now! I can't feed Trucy like this! <laughs> she probably needs more than the occasional watering, too. I'm guessing. She's no- you have no idea. <laughs> Bellboy, help me out here! You can still also, see that hotel why did they, there. Why did they entrust- Phoenix Wright forging detective, uh, forging detective, forging attorney to be like, okay, figure it's out what Trucy's going game. to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you, what's Trucy going to do? Like, find her a house? Nobody else cares enough, which is terrible. Oh my god. You can still but they see have hotels to be, from the be in like here. a foster system or something. Yeah, there yeah. has to be people who would look out for that. Like, if, if somebody goes to jail, you can't find any relatives, wouldn't it be their job to be like, hey, yeah, yeah, it would. parent is not here. Willing suspension of disbelief and all that. Right. Every time I look out, I think back to those old cases. I wonder if the view looks different now that I'm not wearing my old badge. I really dig the far out view, Daddy. Thanks. She must have learned a lot of words from her parents. My desk. Not that I have any reason to sit there anymore. Maybe Iris is still her mom. <laughs> <laughs> you think Phoenix and Iris are together? No, I'm saying, like, oh, Shady you're saying Smith. So Shady Smith Nick had Martin. a kid with Iris? Yeah, or so something. Really, really, well, really the reason I say up. this is she looks so much like Pearl. She does, yeah. I That's think it's just the I'm anime like, kid look, though. It might be, but, like, Cody looked different. Yeah. I guess Trucy can use my desk. It's great for studying math, English, geography, magic. Ah! I'm not crying! I just got some dust in my eye! Poor Trucy. Poor Phoenix, too. Quite the collection of law books. My mentor bought all of them. I used to be too busy to read them. Now that I have the time to read them, there's no need. But I can't just sell them. Maybe Trucy will want to read them someday? Nah. So, Daddy, you got fired from being a lawyer, right? 
you could at least kind of look aside or something when you say that. It's actually kind of hard for me. For Daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Wait, is that foolish pride? My other Daddy always used to talk about that. Uh, actually, that's pretty accurate. So, here's my idea. We'll make a new office. Law just seems so stiff, doesn't it? And no one will be my friend at school that way. Well, that won't do, I guess. I just don't know much about anything other than law. Or even much about law, if you were to ask some people. <laughs> if you were to ask us! Edgeworth. <laughs> Maybe the problem is calling it an office. We should run an agency instead. You mean, like a talent agency? Forgive me for asking, but doesn't that require talent? <laughs> you got me, don't you? I'm a professional. A professional? Yep. After all, I'm directly descended from a famous Zach Grammary. Directly descended? He's your father. Oh. And now I'm directly descended from the famous Phoenix Wright, too. I think an eight-year-old just massaged my ego. Could you tell me a bit more about your daddy? Er, Zach Grammary? Daddy? Sure thing, daddy. Which daddy was that again? Daddy's so amazing. The biggest star of the troop Grammary. And they're big! The Grammaries? They were on television a lot. Haven't seen them on much recently, come to think of it. Big magic happens when you put Zack and Valent Grammary together, you know? Once they made the giant waterfall right there on the stage! And then this giant trout stream up the big giant waterfall! I almost said stream. Well, let me guess, there was a giant fisherman waiting for him at the top? I wish I could have seen more of Daddy's magic. Ah! I shouldn't have brought it up so soon. I wonder what'll happen to me with Daddy and Mommy both gone. Mommy? Yeah, what about Mommy? I haven't heard anything about Trucy's mother. But I have my magic. And a great daddy even if he's unemployed. You know, I think things are gonna be okay. I wonder if she'll talk about her mother. That's what I wanna know. Could you tell me about your mommy, if it's okay? Mommy was so pretty. Like Iris? She was like an angel up on stage. Like Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Iris never performed on stage? You mean with your daddy? Yep. She was always there with Zack and Valent smiling. But then she went away. Went away? It was a grand illusion. But she made a mistake. She vanished and I guess she didn't know how to get back. Maybe so. I cried then. A lot. That's when Daddy gave me this. Here. Oh, that's not Iris. No, it's not. This is your mother? Wait, I want to look beautiful. at her. Look she... at that low-res picture. It's great. Um... <laughs> um, no, she doesn't actually look like that. I'm trying to think of who she looks like. Not really anybody. Um, she looks like Wendy from Wendy's if she had brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> your mom was Wendy? <laughs> Wendy Thomas? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I love Wendy. <laughs> He's just looking at I love Wendy's. <laughs> Is there a gift card in there? <laughs> Coupon. Her name's Talasa. Talasa Grammary? Poor girl. I didn't know her mommy had gone missing. Oh, I, this ruined my entire illusion of Iris being her mother. <laughs> and now oh. her daddy's vanished too right before her eyes. Hey daddy, you won't... Don't worry. I won't vanish. I promise. Right. You can't even do magic. You're like a backup plan. Daddy always said to have a backup plan. Guess all I rate as is a backup plan. Trucy's locket added to the court record. So, Trucy, you're a professional? Yes. Um, it's like that thing they say. Baby frogs grew up to be frogs? They say that? I always thought it was funny, though. What was? Aren't baby frogs called tadpoles? Maybe they thought it would be easier to understand that way for kids. How stupid. Right. So in conclusion, you're a professional magician, Trucy? That's right. Well, well, wanna see a trick? You're going to do a magic trick? Please show me. Maybe next and time. And then Trucy disappears. Thanks, but maybe next time. Oh, that's no fun. You only live once, you know. The tricks can wait. We've got more important things to discuss. I can't think of anything more important than magic myself. Was that mind reading? Still, 
It was still. Silly, it was written all over your face. If that wasn't a magic trick, I wonder what the real ones are like. Back. Actually, I would like to see your trick. The future of the agency depends on it, after all. That's the spirit! Ready? Here goes! Ta-da! Hi, folks! It's Mr. Hat! I gotta say, it's good to be seen! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That was startling! The amazing Mr. Hat! Isn't he great? Your friendly neighborhood, Mr. Hat, at your service! He... Certainly makes an impression. I like her without her hat on. I know. Doesn't he? <laughs> I'm so glad you like him, Daddy. Well, my routines do get a bit heady at times. <laughs> get it? Heady. My friendly neighborhood Mr. Hat nearly gave me a heart attack. The amazing Mr. Hat added to the club. I would also <laughs> laugh if the amazing Mr. Hat is the reason that Zach Remory disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, he's able to disappear because of Mr. Hat. Remember when everyone in the universe was fooled by, like, <laughs> Jersey getting grabbed? <laughs> I think that's probably enough for today. Sorry to ask you so much all at once like that. It's okay. After all, we're family. I just hope you're ready. The right talent agency opens tomorrow. But what? But, but are we representing anyone? Me and you. That makes two, Daddy. I think you need more than that to make an agency. Besides, you may be a magician, but I'm no talent. Well, I'm sure there's something you're good at. Well, when you put it that way... You mean you don't have any tricks? No old standbys? This will not do. A boy should always have a trick or two in his pocket. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. That's the spirit! See you bright and early tomorrow, Daddy. Welcome to the team, Daddy-o. The team, right. Sometimes when magicians vanish, they leave something behind. That's how Trucy became Trucy Wright, my daughter. To be honest, I was pretty lost those first few days. Thinking back on it, it was a pretty dark time in my life. But Trucy, happy, smiling Trucy, she was my light. Yeah, that's honestly how it works. You just move on and you keep going. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how Ch anything else would be better. All right, where should we go next? Uh, the, the defendant lobby. You were just on a roll with picking these today. Am I? <laughs> yes. Is that the correct one to go? <laughs> That's the next one you're supposed I to go I wanted to, to go there initially, but I was like, no, I bet we're going to meet Trucy and figure out everything. And then I was like, I want to see Edgeworth come walk in and be like, ha ha, you're no longer a defense attorney, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'll just need the fan art for that. No, so. it's like, it's like, um, when Phoenix Wright has, like, the terrible days after he's having all these nightmares of, like, the judge, na like, nailing his gavel on him. <laughs> I don't remember that. Remember that? That was the I don't remember him sequence. nailing it to Phoenix Wright. No, he was gonna... Yeah, I know, he slams him with the gavel. He doesn't nail the gavel to him, though. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean, oh. like, a Jesus on the cross type situation. No. Seven years ago, District Court defend lobby number two. Didn't think I'd be back here for a while. I didn't want to have to remember that day. Oh! Though I deeply regret having to declare a verdict in this way, this trial is over. Ah, uh, your honor? We just yes, saw Yes, Mr. Zack? There is one thing I wish to make clear. Today in this courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I am talking about this! M Mr. Enigmar! The defendants escaped! Find him, quick! Bailiff, close all exits from the building! On the double! He must not be allowed to escape! When I came here on that fateful morning, I still had my badge. But now, like an amputated limb, I can still feel it itching. The funny thing he is- He loved presenting his badge to everyone, the too. The funny thing <laughs> is, too, he- Zach Remory planned that from the start. Oh, totally. Which is funny, because if we didn't- if so he, he planned on leaving Trucy behind. So, he's a terrible person. <laughs> it's so... There's so much. But we wouldn't have lost our position if, like... Oh my gosh. It's It gets complicated. Where do I start? I don't even have the authority to investigate. Hey, you there! Sir! Tell him the hands for on your head! No, no, no! What? <laughs> well, what's the big idea? My ears! No unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in here! 
But that would mean all unauthorized personnel are allowed. Zork! I just say it like it is, sir, and it's usually wrong. Thrown out of the precinct, lost my friends, my girl, and even my wallet. We've met before, haven't we? On a case two years ago? No recollection of that, sir! Huh? For me, working on a case is always in the present progressive tense, sir! There is no past! There is only now, sir! Okay, okay! You're the bailiff, right? That's yes, sir! Why. Court bailiff Mike Meekins at your service, sir! That explains why you wouldn't let me voice the bailiff. <laughs> I only consider him the bailiff in the past case, though, here. That's true. Um, I'm asked to meet with the bailiff at this court who let the magician escape. Let me try to make this as absolutely clear as possible for you, sir! It was me! Sir. But you were a regular police officer once, right? He just breaks down. Sometimes bad yeah. things happen to good people, sir. That's Maggie Bird in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should... No, Maggie and Gumshoe belong together. Sorry, Meekins. Yeah, that's <laughs> Something true. Something tells me it's a long story. Let's not go there. So, you were in charge of security at the time of the vanishing? I'm dying over here! Oh, oh, it's a hard knock life, sir. <laughs> Thrown out of the precinct, lost my friends, my girl, and even my wallet. Well, at least he's not the only one, Guess yeah. I wasn't the only victim. Poor dude. <laughs> it wasn't your fault, they vanished. Also, who would trust him? The shrimp. <laughs> the shrimp? The shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> who would trust him to shrimp? <laughs> Nobody wants him to fish for shrimp. How is shrimp a verb? No, that, that actually is a verb. We're gonna go shrimping, like fish for shrimp. <laughs> what? Really? Oh, you haven't seen Forrest Gump. No! Okay. No, I haven't, and I still need to. I mean, it's not and a you happy need to story. See sound but... music. Yes, I do. I have seen a lot of sound of music. You've seen I the haven't... First I've half? seen the first. Did you see I've the seen the first goat herd? Yeah, that was weird. That's like one of my favorite scenes. You don't like that? The goat puppet is weird. Yeah, you The more you yodel, the less time we have to actually do this. Fine. <laughs> Keep going. You know, I think this was my the the lobby I used for my very first case. Wow. This plant has seen me grow from a rookie to an ace to a has been. I hate you, plant. Just kidding. But like. I actually took a nap on that couch once when I was still practicing <laughs> law. Then a guy hit me on the head with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Boy, was that a mistake. Extinguisher? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I guess it was a fire extinguisher. You'll know in like a week from now when I actually upload Uploaded. the first Justice for All video. Yeah, <laughs> we still haven't even uploaded. <laughs> that's how far in advance we've done this. I never, so far in advance. I never even sit on the lobby sofas now. I never let my clients sit on them either. It's bad luck. Nobody sit on that couch, it's cursed. I must have seen that painting a thousand times, but I never really looked at it until now. I guess my head was too stuck in the trials. Yeah. I never had time to stop and appreciate art. You never had to stop time to, to, to stop and examine stuff in this room. I have time now. Okay, let's appreciate. Poor Meekin's just like waiting around, waiting for you to stop for appreciating. Actually, it's pretty lame. I guess this door was officially a prop in Zach Grammary's last show. He passed through that lobby door and vanished. But to where? He's now the plant. He choreographed that entire fateful trial according to his grand scenario. I hate magicians. <gasps> what if? <gasps> what if he's the new painting? Just hear me out. Well, th this is- The <laughs> are you talking no. about? <laughs> no, okay, okay. <laughs> No, he's a, he's a magic trick. He does the magic trick, vanishes, whoosh! And then there's a new painting in the new case. Why is it not there now? This, what, that makes literally no sense! <laughs> it's a magician! How did he vanish? That also makes no it's sense. Six, okay, they explain it. It's logical and rational. It's not like, oh, it's a magician, so he did actual magic and turned into he, a painting. He vanished. That's, that's magic. Okay, we're gonna learn more about okay, that. Okay, fine. Meekins. The last time we met, you were a police officer, right? We were talking about that. In fact, you're still wearing your uniform. Sir, I I wish I didn't have to tell you this. But last year, tragedy struck a rising star at the precinct. I lost my case files four times in three days. They fired me. That takes real talent, actually. They don't know what they're missing. So here I am, sir, forced to start from square one of Bowie Bailiff. But your uniform. 
I took it with me as a souvenir the day I was fired. That can't be legal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were the one who let the magician get away that day? I'm dying over here! A star rises above the court bailiffs, full of hope, then tragedy strikes. Is there anything you can tell me about it? About Zach Grammary's disappearance? All of humanity! That's enough of that. Why yes, I'd say it was around 2 p.m. when I heard a commotion in court. I opened the door to see what might be amiss. The door slams open! Slam! And some guy's face is right there in front of me! Face! So, you saw someone suspicious coming your way? Yes! And I, being a bailiff of little standing, I gave chase! I chased that silk hat all the way down the hall, sir! I have a diagram of the court building here. Aha! There's courtroom number seven! That's where I was, sir! All by myself! Nary a friend to call my own! Okay, and which way did Zach Grammary run after bursting through the courtroom door? He went up, like this, and around the corner, like that! So I, with no delay, ran after him with no delay! When I turned the corner, I saw that mag magic man run into the defendant lobby! Swiftly I ran! Following him, I threw myself boldly into the room! Why, I remember it like it was right here! Because it was! Lobby number two, sir! You ran into this room? Hmm, I don't see any place to hide in here. Believe it or not, sir, I didn't believe it! Here, in this room, the magician, gone, vanished like a puff of smoke! Except, Except there wasn't, wasn't even any smoke! He was just gone! That's impossible. Yes, that, that word! Oh, how many times have I said that word? Even the sound of it causes me indescribable pain. I'm dying. I'm dying over here! Okay, okay, I won't say it again, I promise. But you have to admit, it's impo- er, difficult to vanish into thin air. Did you search the lobby? I searched. And then he's gonna be like, I didn't. Why the pause? The, 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 there was the, 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 nothing here at all, sir! That's right, nothing was here, sir. Now, now, he's a guy who you could bribe with 220s to keep Oh yeah, <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you saw nothing? She's like, ooh, money! Same thing with, uh, gumshoe. <laughs> No, Gumshoe cares too much about the job. <laughs> Gumshoe doesn't have, like, any money. He cares too much about the That's job. That's true. Though. How can he talk so loud and still be hiding something? So Zack was in this room when he vanished? He's just behind Absolutely, him. sir! I saw him with my own eye! Eyes! That red silk hat! That flowing cape! It was pink. He, he ran right in here, right inside this room! Silk hat, cape... That's Zack, alright. Maybe he's just hiding behind the couch. Even now. Two, yeah. Two weeks later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, sir, look at the room. There's not a single place to hide. Sir, there was nothing I could do but nothing, sir. Maybe this is like, okay, same painting idea, different idea, though. Maybe this is like Luigi's Mansion, where you can take the painting off and then you can, like, see there's, like, a different room. Oh, like, a, there's a secret passage. Like a behind. secret passage. Okay, not that's like, more reason. Not like I'm Mario like, trapped That's what I thought you were going with. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Where you can, like, see everything in the room. What about now? Have any ideas? Sir! Uh, I, I, ideas about what exactly, sir, if you don't mind me asking? You've had quite a bit of time since then. Has nothing occurred to you at all? Do you have any idea what trick he might have used to disappear like that? Not a cyclops. Only two? Cyclops! I should have known. The Magatama, one of my most prized possessions, which I got during a certain now case. Now I know why some people like this case, because we've had no psych locks in this entire game. This is a great case! Especially by the end. Right, it, that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah. By the end, I'm like, I am so psyched for psych locks. Yep. But, like, yeah. It can show me the locks on people's hearts. And if I can unlock their hearts, they'll tell me their secrets. The Magatama starts it all, and the Magatama ends it. And now we don't- we just touch up here to do the unlock. Oh! Okay. Whoa, it's 3D! Not that anybody would be able to see. The disappearing trick. Okay, Mr. Meekins. What do you know? Spit it out. Whoa, remix. Yep. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's with the atmosphere in here all of a sudden? You know something and I'm going to find out what. Zach Grammary vanished from this room. How did he do it? <laughs> How, sir? Well, well, sir, I can't say as I- Sir! Why are you so nervous if you aren't hiding something? Well, sir, I- You see, at the time, sir, I was here and- Listen! It was impossible! 
WHAT COULD SUCH A LITTLE GIRL POSSIBLY DO ANYWAY?! What did you just say? YERK! Sir! Uh, did... I say something, sir? When I write? <laughs> when Mr. Hat? Whoosh! No, you screamed it through that megaphone of yours. There was someone else here in the room, wasn't there? Sir, I'm going to have to invoke my right to remain in a state of not talking! <laughs> it's okay, Meekins. You don't have to tell me who Zack's accomplice was. I know who was here in the room that day. <laughs> Chris stopped <laughs> gaffing. <laughs> well? Sir, I don't know what to say, sir. May except maybe I didn't need to worry about not saying anything. Huh? Sir, it is my distinct pleasure to say beyond any shadow of doubt, sir. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong! Aww, how, how could Mr. Stewart not be right? <laughs> I wish he'd invoke his right to remain silent now. Still, his little outburst back there should be enough to go on. What could such a little girl possibly do, was it? Oh, he's only 25 now. Because it's in the past. Falassa Grammary, 33. She's missing. Just like Misty Fay. Everyone's missing! Yep. Surrise, 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 surrise! I've never seen that girl until the other day! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Meekins, I'm not buying it. Sir! Sir, that day, she was here in the room, sir. But he wasn't! You mean you chased her into this room, not him? Sir, in my days as a police officer, literally days, I learned to feed her too. Okay, just one thing, but it was how not to mistake a girl for a seven foot tall magician. Seven feet? Zack isn't that tall, is he? You have a point. I find it hard to imagine that anyone could mistake a little girl for Zack Grammary. But you saw something. And therein lies the trick. I think you know what I was, Mr. Meekins. Tell me, does this trick look familiar? <laughs> Tell me or I'll sh give you a shot. My, my, my. You're, your your what? I guess ex-attorneys have some tricks up their sleeves, too. It hardly qualifies as a trick. You might be able to fool little girls with that. But you'll never fool little Meekins. Well, if I, I think I put my foot into that one. <laughs> you were right, as a matter of fact. What's that? That was the girl's favorite trick, the amazing Mr. Hat. She uses it in her show down at the Wonder Bar. Have you been to the Wonder Bar? So, it wasn't a waking dream, was it, sir? S come again? That night on stage, I saw a vision, except it wasn't a vision. It was a hat. An amazing Mr. Hat! He really exists! <laughs> what the heck? Sometimes I'm so right and sometimes I'm so wrong. And you were both in this episode, you're right. I wonder if, like, the amazing Mr. Hat was used to help him disappear. And then you're also like, I wonder if Zach Grammary turned <laughs> into a painting. <laughs> well, I was like, there's a painting of a dude. That would be a latent plot twist. <laughs> I remember it clearly, though the details are a little vague. Zach Grammary exited the courtroom. I gave Chase and cornered him into a little corner room, sir. Zach Grammary, don't even think you could escape, Meekins. Down on your hands, floor on your head. <laughs> Hello. Something the matter, Mister? Er, uh, no. Uh, that is, sir. I'm currently chasing a suspect, sir. Zach Grammary, do you know him? Oh, I love Zach Grammary. His magic is the best. I'm his biggest fan. I see. Uh, that's why you're wearing the costume you're wearing. Anyway, the very same, same Zack came into this room! But no one's been in here except me. But but he has to be in here somewhere! Under the sofa, in the trash can, behind the painting, under the rug! <laughs> I'm gonna sweep this dirt under the rug. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trucy was his accomplice. Imagine my astonished surprise when one week later, I just happened to walk into a bar and see him! <laughs> Mr. Hat. I couldn't believe my own eyes! For a while, I thought I had it all been a long dream. A dream that lasted a week? <laughs> but it wasn't the magician who disappeared. It was Mr. Hat. <laughs> okay, uh, you'll be fine, Meekins. <laughs> Though it seems complex, what really happened that day is quite simple. You were standing by the door, and out came Zack. But that wasn't all. Another person got in on the act, and she was standing in front of lobby number two. 
along with Mr. Hat. Ah, and that's the beauty of it, isn't it? So, while you are standing in shock and amazement, the magician rounds the corner and most likely runs through the closest door into lobby number one. This is where you come in. You turn the corner in rather lukewarm pursuit. And at that very moment, Trucy runs into lobby number two. Then all she has to do is tuck away the amazing Mr. Hat. Sir, I... I only lost sight of him for the briefest of moments! Then I saw that cape! Zack Grammary's red cape fluttering like a... Cape! Astounding, sir! All my days of posing queries and making inquiries and chasing quarries! Wasted! It was as if I could see them melting away like... An ice cream cone left at the side of the road to die! Or the scattered dreams of a mess of eating chocolate parfait! How the heck is this guy not dating somebody? I wonder why. <laughs> uh, but he's at least interesting. There are the guys who are just like... Mm. Like every harem like anime Roger. protagonist. No, like Roger from Max and Ruby. Like, like uh, a harem uh, anime protagonist. <laughs> every anime protagonist? Harem anime protagonist. Not really. Aren't they like really blank, blank slates? Just so it's like, I totally relate to this guy because there's nothing to like about him that's special. <laughs> um... Maybe huh? I'm maybe I'm wrong. Well, okay, if you're talking about like if you're talking about Sean or whatever from Secret World of Variety with with Howl, Shun. Yes, Shun. He's not a harem anime protagonist. There's right. only one girl. Okay, <laughs> name a harem anime then, because I'm Uh Doki Doki Okay, Kong. that one, you are the protagonist. So I don't no know person. the names of any harem animes. Oh. I don't watch them. Okay, then you don't know if there are any. Like, okay, so I'm stereotyping <laughs> from Doki Doki <laughs> Winter Club. So sue me. So sue you. <laughs> Most so, most guys in anime are pretty crazy. Some of them have like pink Yeah, like Mr. Stewart. <laughs> some of them have pink hair and fireballs. Some of them are Mr. Stewart driving a, like a car trying to creep on kids. Some of them are um what's his face from Attack on Titan slicing up demons. And some of them are like hot guys who swim. And there's nothing else. <laughs> and there's nothing else. Or no, and he likes mackerel. There's this guy. <laughs> there's this guy. You're describing the guy from Wind Rises now, where he's using no, the mackerel no, bones for the fish, for the swims. plane plants. There's this dude who swims, and he's like, I only like mackerel, and to swim free, so he only swims freestyle. I'm literally not making Anyway, It's pretty weird! Such sweet sorrows. For the swimming boys. I'm sorry. I had no idea how much you'd suffered on account of this case. It... It's an honor, sir! I've apologized to people many, many times, sometimes more than once. But this is the first time anyone's ever apologized to me! Uh, actually, about that girl, I'm sort of her guardian now. Is that so? Sir, you should know that I harbor no ill feelings whatsoever in my harbor! Um, okay. I let the defendant escape, that's the stone cold truth! Just another step on the way to city from seeing the blues to wearing the blues! So these are all be sitting side by side with the great detective Gob Shoe! Um, Mr. Meekins, this is a free ticket to the show at the Wonder Bar. If you want. It... It's an honor, sir! Sir, I can't count the number of feats I've had taken for me, sir! But no one's ever given me anything for free! <laughs> see? This is why I feel bad. Oh, I feel really bad for Meekins. Right, I'll see you in court next time then, sir. I look forward to it. And then he never came back. All eyes were on Zack Grammary that day in court, until his mysterious disappearance. Now part of the mystery's been revealed, but the magician remained out of sight. It would be seven years before I met him again. So like, Probably. we had to go to Wright and Company before that, otherwise we couldn't break his psyche lock. Right. But at the same time... Oh, now we're And now present. we unlocked a new place, the Borscht Bowl Club. I wonder where we're supposed to go. Well, we'll have to supposed to go there next time on Apollo oh. Justice Ace Attorney. I wish we could continue, but I it's agree. getting late. I gotta take a shower, pack you a gotta lunch. Work. I gotta, I gotta, gotta work up at Yucko Clock worked, in the morning. I worked the past four days in a very strenuous job. Doing uh, no, <laughs> With I say guys using the urinal while you're trying to oh clean the bathroom. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was 
Oh, I don't even know why that happened, but yes. She wasn't alone cleaning the bathroom. No, she had someone I there wasn't. Helping. There was somebody there helping me. Of course, that would be me. very But they were just like, I'm just going to use bathroom while you clean it. You're like, I'm cleaning the bathroom. You can't. They're like, that's okay. We don't mind. Yeah, I mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not all guys. This is the real problem that feminists face. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls' bathroom was no problem because nobody came by because they knew the bathrooms were closed. Anyways, we will not hear more about that next time on Apollo Justice. We will go to the Borscht Bowl Club next time on Apollo Justice. We better, Thanks for watching. Next time we should eat food while we do it. No. Come on, it'd be great. <laughs> it would be terrible. We can make some fries, eat some uh, eat some fries while we go to the Borscht Bowl Club. No. No. Anyhow, until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Nobody wants to listen to us be like, <laughs> Then I need food whenever MS Guy speaks.